What's going on guys? So today I wanna to talk about how to contact good old Amazon seller support. Uh, we all know it's a huge hassle and a pain. I'm gonna go over you know, how can we contact them if we have an issue with our listing, uh, financials, anything on your account. So say you're up and selling, all ready to go and you're having issues and you just wanna to talk to them. What's the fastest way to do that? Because there is a methodology to it. Uh, also, if you guys are contacting Amazon seller support um, or trying to at least, but you don't have an account up and you're going through registration, what other methods can you guys use to try to contact them, right? Because you can't log in, you can't make a case, so we'll go over that. Uh, and lastly, say you tried everything. Say you try to contact them through email, uh, cases, uh, you're trying to get your account registered, but it's not working, you tried everything. I'm gonna give you a last resort option there as well at the end of this video. Okay guys, let's just hop right into my screen here. Uh, we're just going to switch on over uh, so we can see we're on seller support here. So this is the first step, guys. So if we're trying to contact them about anything that we're doing when we're selling or when we can log in, this is how we do it. OK, so we go down here where this is an inactive account, uh, just if you guys are curious. Uh, but if we go down here, the best way to do this is we go down to help right here. So right down here, we're going to click help. That's gonna load for us. Okay, they're gonna do everything possible to try to get you to go through an automated prompt, okay? Just because that's what they do. They wanna automate everything. They want less people talking to you. That's why this whole thing is such a pain. That's why I have to make a video on it, okay? So they're gonna prompt you with, you know, recommended for you, blah, 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 search help right here, blah, blah, blah. Nope, ignore all that. Need more help right down here. Click get support. Okay, so now we're right here. Now depending on what you need help with, right? If it's sponsored ads and stores, click this one. If it's just selling on Amazon, which 90% of the time it will be selling on Amazon, they're gonna prompt you again, describe your issue. Okay, so they, that way they can bring you through another automated system, ignore you, not actually get you a person who can actually help. We're gonna ignore all this again and we're gonna go right down here to browse for your own issues in the menu. Okay, so this account, since it's inactive, it's got a couple features that are missing here. Um, so, just know that yours could look a little different uh, based on mine. If I click over here, we can see that this is an active account. We can see there's a bunch more uh, things going on here. I'm gonna walk through anything that's relevant, uh, anything you might need to know about um, in, in both of these settings here. So just know if you got an uh, inactive account or if you're not a professional plan, you're gonna have uh, different looking things than the other. So I just wanna show you guys that in comparison. Uh, so just going through with things, right? So uh, any customer FBA order uh, related stuff, uh, this is the what you're going to want to go to right here. Uh, so uh, make sure you guys go to that. Uh, next, you know, I don't I don't use this a ton, right? Um, so if you're doing FBM, this is going to be more relevant. That's why I kind of stumbled through that. But anyways, product listings inventory, this is going to be a lot more relevant to you guys. Uh, so we look down here, uh, merge, duplicate or split product listings, fix the product page. So most of the stuff all goes to the catalog team, which is the people who list your product, uh, you know, put child variations together, uh, take care of the pretty much the catalog if you're searching through Amazon, right? Uh, so if we're looking here, you know, listing not active is a common one, right? Fixed product page. Say you are trying to edit um, your product page on the back end, but nothing's happening, right? You're just waiting and nothing actually changes. This is where you go right here. Gives you the catalog team. Uh, so you go, go look through here if you're having product issues. Um, I'm going to show you a way if you can't find what you're looking for or you're just really confused how to just bypass this. Uh, so if we go to like just fix product page, right? It's gonna tell you to put an ASIN in uh, and everything like that. You can go through that process. Okay, so just skipping to it and, and I'll go through anything that's super relevant here, but I just wanna show you, you know, if you are confused what to do right away, or if you just wanna skip all this nonsense uh, and not really go very specific, this is where you go, other account issues. Okay, so they're gonna tell you to describe an issue here, uh, having issues with financials, something like that, right? Just kind of generic. We're gonna hit continue. This is gonna go ahead and prompt us to get connected with associates. Sometimes, sometimes they'll try to prompt you uh, to another automated system here to get your problem solved. Ignore that again and then go all the way down uh, and access this. We see here uh, that I can email them. I can add attachments. I can tell what we're, we're talking about right here um, and go ahead and put a number there for a callback as well. If you have a account that's professional plan, you should have a call option here. Sometimes they take it away, sometimes it, it comes back. But if you have a professional account, you know, looking like this, you're gonna have an option to call. This is what I recommend doing if it's an urgent matter, okay? So there's gonna be a button here, it's gonna hit call. You're gonna put your number in, they're gonna call you right back. 
uh, and they're gonna connect you with a rep. Okay, this can be your quickest way to get stuff done. When I like to use email versus call is when I have time, essentially, right? I'm just trying to do something, get it done by the end of the week. I don't really wanna to talk to someone right now. I'm gonna make a case, I'm gonna get back to forth, get, get back and forth to them uh, it, just over the week to try to solve the issue or just kind of learn more about a situation that's going on. Maybe they give me some insightful information there, okay? Um, just going through this again, um, so your account issues, so reinstate your account, right? If you have issues there, update credit card information, bank account information. So stuff that, you know, if you just do on your own, you might get to get in trouble. Uh, so changing your bank account without telling them, they're gonna close your account because they think it's, think it's a fraud or someone, uh, you know, getting your password and trying to make, trying to, I can't talk today, try to get your bank account um, or try to get into your Seller Central account, put it to their bank account and take your funds out, right? So that's why they want you to go through this process, disbursements and payments. Uh, so if you're having issues with payments uh, coming back into your bank account or if you think they're wrong, account fees, same thing here, account health, performance, fulfillment by Amazon. So this is all the FBA stuff. Uh, so if you're having issues with products getting in uh, to the warehouse that you just sent in, this is where you go for that. Again, you know, I would go into more order here in more detail, but if you go to one of these things that's sort of relevant or just other account issues, you can get back to someone who's gonna help you. Okay, and if they can't help you, they're hopefully gonna transfer you to someone you can. Uh, if you know exactly your issue, like fix the product page, just go through that prompt, right? It's a little easier, might you know skip a few steps here and there, uh, but really, uh, it goes to all the same people. One last thing I, I do wanna talk about uh, since we're on this page, product review. So if you have a, uh, product review that's you know very aggressive or say someone put a fake product review on there from another product this is where you go to review that uh, right here to ask them to take it down it's about 50 50 sometimes i take one down sometimes i don't even if it's blatantly obvious that someone was just putting a bad review in your account uh, but something to know there uh, as well all right next i want to talk about okay now you can't log in right so say you're going through seller registration and you just can't contact support the way we just showed it so these are some emails you can possibly reach out to Amazon seller support, okay? So this is not guaranteed. I just wanna let you know right now, this stuff changes all the time. They, they put more barriers in, they change more things up, so you can't contact them. Uh, there's, <clears throat> there used to be a 1-800 number you could call as well to get to seller support. I can't find that anywhere uh, anymore. The ones I used to have don't work. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just not finding anymore, but these emails change all the time too. You used to be able to go on like Google, Reddit, and figure these things out just based on what's new. I have not been able to find anything. I think Amazon's been doing a great job of trying to take these things down, again, to make barriers of entry. So use at your own risk, right? Don't blast them, but if you're having issues with your account and you tried you know, logging on, you can't get anybody, uh, try one of these emails, do it slowly over time, try one at a time. Uh, see what happens here. You know, I I don't know if they work or not, right? These are the last ones that I knew about. So use at your own risk uh, and just know that they possibly could have changed. Again, do some Google research to see if there's, you know, other Seller Central emails being used out there by people. That's exactly what I do. It's just getting really hard to actually find those emails. They're doing a really good job of covering that stuff up. Again, because they want to automate everything. They want to keep their support staff as busy as are not busy as possible, but as least busy as possible so they can hire fewer, blah, blah, blah. You know how this thing works. Uh, so Amazon, just big cog of a machine here. But use these emails if you can. I'm sorry, I don't have a number for you. It just doesn't work anymore. I can't find one. If anybody figures this one out, put it in the comments down below. Help everybody out. Uh, I'd be really appreciated. So if you guys want to take these down, go ahead and pause the video now or just bookmark where we're at right now so you can come back and use these emails when you get a chance or when you actually need them, right? Okay, so moving on, guys. So say you tried everything, right? You've, you've, uh, you can't make a case because you can't log in. You've emailed these people. You've tried to make a second account with a different email because they told you to, uh, right? Don't do that if they don't tell you to uh, because you know your first application got denied and was closed. And so you don't know where to go. You tried this for months, nothing's working. You've done everything they said, nothing, okay? And then, don't worry, guys it's part of the process. It's so freaking annoying that they put these barriers of entry on it. Uh, but there's this, they, they try to automate everything, like I said, and they try to protect us from, you know, scammers, obviously, people who are making a ton of fake accounts and selling fake products. So it's just, it's, it's just so big that there's, there's going to be things like this just 
for this business model. Unfortunately, it's not Amazon's fault. It's not our fault. It's just because there's some bad eggs out there, right? Okay, so you tried everything. You don't know what to do. My suggestion would be to use a actual service that is really good at this, that knows the in, ins and outs of Amazon, knows exactly what they want, can help you with this. Uh, and personally, anytime I have an account issue, whether it's a suspension, uh, whether it's account registration for a new account, uh, anything like that, I don't deal with it anymore. Yes, I, 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 I know how to take care of it. I know what steps to do, but sometimes that's not even good enough. Like I, you know, and I don't even have the time to do it, right? Because it could take, um, you know, three weeks, could take a month. It could take, you know, six months if I try to do it myself because I just, I'm not good enough. I can't learn everything about e-commerce and Amazon business and then keep up with the registration process uh, with, you know, appeals, everything like that on Amazon. It's just, it's a whole nother niche of itself. It, you know, it recommends or it requires, I should say, it requires uh, a whole nother level of expert that just focuses just on that. That's how complicated this stuff is. So I hire this stuff out now. I don't suggest you always do that right away because, you know, there is expenses for that. But if you tried everything, this is the service I recommend to you. So this is appealwizards.com. Uh, this is my page right here. So if you use this page, I'll put the link down in the description. You get 20% off. Why Appeal Wizards, right? So if you guys know me, I don't, you know, push out a ton of companies to go use. Only the ones I've used personally and that I highly recommend that I've gotten to know their staff personally as well and um, that I actually trust. These guys uh, actually got me out of a pretty big pickle myself. So about six months ago, Amazon started linking accounts together and we had clients accounts and we had our own accounts. We had a really old account that was suspended. It got linked to a bunch of our client accounts. It suspended all those accounts at once. Uh, obviously clients weren't happy because they were losing lots of money. Uh, very stressful situation. Uh, we tried and tried for like three months to get this thing back up and rolling. We used another service uh, that we used previously that was kind of eh, but it, you know, it took another three months or so uh, to going through that roller coaster. And you know, by the end of it, like it was about three to four months total of them not being able to sell their product, our clients. Uh, so there's a lot of pressure. Uh, they were very upset. And so what I did is I scoured a bunch of services, talked to a bunch of people, uh, came up with Appeal Wizards. Here, the cool thing was they, uh, I didn't have to pay them in full until the project was done and successful. It was just a down deposit and the rest came after. Uh, the, everybody I talked to on their chat was super helpful. I got to meet the VP of operations, talk to him on the phone. Uh, things were good. They cleared this up in about five days for me, right? Unlinked all the accounts, got them all back and running about five days versus three to four months right here. Uh, they were super responsive. Uh, they're texting every day with updates, what they're working on. Uh, and honestly, it was pretty awesome, <laughs> okay, for this type of service. So this is what I recommend, last resort, right? That's why we're talking about it last. If nothing else is working, there is a fee associated with it. But again, if you use this 20% off, uh, you can sign up for a free consultation right here too. So that you that way you don't have to you know take the case unless they know what they could do for you. They're not going to tell you they can do something and not be able to do it. Uh, so you get to talk to someone, figure out if they can help you or not, uh, and then see what that costs uh, and see if it's worth it for you. Okay, so I'll put this link down below. Obviously, they help with account reinstatement, ASIN reinstatement, um, and, and do all sorts of stuff for you here. Help with getting your um, your account up and registered. Um, help with ASINs that are coming down, suspensions. I pretty much repeat myself here. Uh, but use this, guys. Again, link down below. Uh, hopefully, this will help you here. Just And um, hopefully, this video in general helped with you uh, to, to kind of figure out how to get to Seller Central uh, quick and easy, uh, make a case, get the help you need, what to do if you can't log in, and last resort options. Uh, if this helped, obviously, hit the like button, subscribe, watch a ton of my other videos about Amazon account rejections. If you're going through this process, use the service last resort, like I said. Uh, hopefully, uh, you can get your account up and running, and hopefully, uh, you can breeze right through it. So that's it, guys.